Hi, in this video, I will show the natural products I use for my race team and what I give each day of the week over a seven day period. Uh, we race completely antibiotic free. We haven't treated the race team with anything or any of the birds with anything in a flock treatment for over 10 years. I think you'll enjoy. So I will start with day of return and I'll work from Saturday through the following shipping day. So on Saturday, we race on Saturday on the day of return in one gallon of water. I start with a chlorine remover. Uh, I buy the two drops to the gallon chlorine remover. I'll put it in the water, wait five minutes, and then I start adding the product. Now on Saturday, the day of return, there's more like supplements in the water than any other day during the week. So after this, it gets a little bit more simple, but I will show the product and you'll have an idea exactly what I do. So we start with a chlorine remover. I add a half tablespoon of honey. The honey is a good sugar, um, helps the birds recover. It has uh, antimicrobial effects for the birds also. A great product, easy, simple. I just buy it cheap, um, regular shopping store type honey, nothing special. The next thing I add is 1.5 mLs of VBG Avian Solution. Now, Avian Solution is an oregano product. I love it. Probably the best product on the market. There are other oregano products, but price-wise and strength-wise, I like the VBG Avian Solution. I've only seen it sold at Jeds, Jeds.com out of California. Um, maybe you could get it other places, but I buy it at Jets. Super product, I add, after the honey, I add 1.5 milliliters of the BBG Avian Solution. The next, I add 1 eighth of a teaspoon of vitamins and electrolytes that I buy at Tractor Supply. It's just a cheap uh, chicken vitamin electrolyte. It has some probiotics in it but I mainly buy it for the vitamin and the electrolyte. Uh, the next product I use is a Comed product. I do like the Comed products. It's called Roni, R-O-N-I. Roni is a mixture of herbs. It is loaded with pre and probiotics. Prebiotics feed the probiotics. Uh, it has garlic, it has some sugar to also fuel the natural um, bacteria in the gut. It acidifies the gut, and when I talk the gut, it acidifies from the crop right through the intestines. Uh, good bacteria love an acid environment, bad bacteria hates an acid environment. Uh, the next thing I add is one teaspoon of ProBios. It's a friendly gut bacteria mixed with a little sugar and whey protein. Again, just so when the pigeons come home, they get a dose of like a natural antimicrobial, a rebuilding uh, with the sugars, and it's a very beneficial. They, they bounce back really quick. They drink this for 24 hours on Saturday. I leave it until Sunday morning. Now on Sunday morning, I treat with apple cider vinegar. I buy this brand here at the health food store. Uh, it has the mother in it. It's a really good apple cider vinegar. I put one and a half ounces to the gallon. I give them the apple cider vinegar Sunday and Monday. They say it has great effect on trichomoniasis or canker. Again, I'm not sure if it does. For me, it's probably a mental thing for me that I like it, I, I give it. I think if the birds were exposed to canker on the truck, this helps knock it out. So Sunday and Monday, they get the apple cider vinegar. It also acidifies the gut, which again, promotes good bacteria. It is uh, hurts and harms bad bacteria. So that is Sunday and Monday, apple cider vinegar, 1.5 ounces to the gallon. On Tuesday, one of my products that I love are the yellow drops. Again, it's an antimicrobial. It's a natural product. Many of the Belgians use it. You'll notice through the race season in Belgium, everybody has yellow fingernails and fingertips and yellow stains on their clothes. I give the birds Tuesday morning before my usual Tuesday morning training toss as I'm putting them in the basket, one drop. 
of the yellow drops. It stains the mouth yellow. Um, supposedly, it is a great canker product. It also clears the upper respiratory tract. Again, an antimicrobial and a super product, one of my favorites. So that takes us through Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's another more of a mixed day. They get Cure Oil, a Comed product. Uh, it smells like a strong oregano oil with other types of oil. It's, it's very pungent. It's very, um, it's almost medicinal, that oil. I mix the Cure Oil with flaxseed oil. Now the reason I love flaxseed oil is it's an anti-inflammatory. So if you can keep the pigeons from getting inflammation in flight, they can fly longer, more endurance. Flax oil is loaded with the omega-3s. It's better for the brain, it's better for our muscle, feather, and big anti-inflammatory effects. So I usually put about a tablespoon and a half of half flax oil, half cure all on the grain. I mix it up, I let it sit a few minutes, and then I add Winmix. It's again, it's a product by Comed. It's a little salty, that's why I like to do it the middle of the week. It seems like it has maybe a brewer's yeast base, um, a lot of different additives to it. And with that, I mix 50% wind mix with 50% brewer's yeast. I buy the Twin Lab brewer's yeast at the health food store, mainly because the Twin Lab brewer's yeast, as shown here, is a powder. It's like extremely, it's like the consistency of flour and uh, it sticks to the grain really well. Some brewer's yeast is more of a flake. It doesn't work very well. And as you can hear, my African gray parrot in the background, he tends to carry on when I'm doing a video. Now that takes us through Wednesday. On Thursday, I give the horse vitamin red cell. Uh, red cell is, it's been around for like 50 years, maybe more. I was using it when I was a kid. I put one teaspoon to the gallon on the Thursday, and I use it mainly for the iodine. It's a high iodine content, and uh, I really like the Red Cell. It's a terrific product. Again, I give it on Thursdays because we ship on Friday. Now, if we were shipping on a Thursday, I would add, move the red cell up to Wednesday. I always give fresh, clear water the day of shipping. So on Friday, the birds get completely clear water. I repeat this every week throughout the season. My birds stay incredibly healthy. I fly at the top week in and week out. Uh, once you get used to using natural products, you'll find that your results are just good. They're good all the time. The birds just keep getting stronger. The health keeps getting better. I don't worry about respiratory. I don't worry about canker. If a bird is gonna get sick or weak, I tend to lose them. I don't want them in the population. So I hope you decide to go with the natural health and follow the program. At the end of this video here, I'll show some of my stock cocks. I did a quick video this morning. It's on January 7th, right before breeding. And if uh, you like my videos, please subscribe. You can hit the bell notification if you'd like to uh, get all my videos when I first put them out and I'll have more coming. And thank you and I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy seeing a few of my stock cocks and uh, some of the tips I give in the next small section of the video. Here's a video of some of my stock cocks. They're out in an old flight pen off one of the breeding lofts. Haven't started pairing this group yet. As you can see, health and vitality is there. And you see the open top. It's all kinds of weather, whether it's storms, snow, sleet, heat, rain. They can go out. They're not butterflies, they're pigeons. Keep them strong, don't baby them. Again, when I say don't baby them, they get everything they need. They have shelter, they have high minerals, they have minerals, they have grain, food. They're all vaccinated, but yet I'm not worried about cold temperatures. I'm not worried about snow, sleet, rain. That doesn't make them sick, that makes them strong. Just a short little video of some of the stars. This is one of my best ones right there.